Two trucks depart the Atomium in Brussels. It's an everyday scene in cities across the world, but this journey is different. It's one of the first semi-autonomous truck platoons on public roads. When it comes to self-driving, companies like Google get a lot of attention for their cars. But truck companies are developing an autonomous system that could have great benefits and be here sooner. It's called platooning and was recently demonstrated on a 140km trip from Brussels to Rotterdam. Platooning is useful when several trucks are travelling together. The front truck is the lead and information on its speed, braking and acceleration is transmitted over a vehicle-to-vehicle -vehicle network to the trucks behind. So when the truck at the front of the platoon brakes, the trucks behind also brake. The data is transmitted instantly and automatically acted upon. The lag in doing this is almost nothing, so that means the trucks can travel much closer than normal. They take up less space on the road and they use less fuel because the entire platoon is more aerodynamic. The autonomous driving, the platoon is very important to reduce CO2 emission and to make the transport safer with a low impact towards the environment. The trip from Brussels to Rotterdam in early April was one of six that took place on the same day as part of the European Union's truck platooning challenge. It was a major step forward improving the technology, but regulations are still needed. We have to deregulate because now every country has its own distance between cars, for example, or uh, you know the uh, Vienna laws that say you always have to keep your hands at the, at the wheel. Uh, this is quite old-fashioned because uh, every time when innovation comes, the laws and the rules we make are already uh, old-fashioned. So we need to make rules that and a regulation that uh, gives us room to experiment or just get rid of it. The goal? A common standard that works across Europe and between trucks of different manufacturers. A common control system is also envisaged that would keep track of platoons and allow trucks travelling across the continent to join and leave as needed. All of this is still a few years away, but the industry is working towards the first use of the technology in 2020.